Hey guys, welcome to my channel and in this video we're going to see how we actually go about creating a yum server from a local repository in a Red Hat Linux 6 server. So uh, I have my CD-ROM inserted and the CD-ROM is mounted on slash media slash RHEL underscore 6.4 followed by the complete path. And uh, I have created another file system slash dev slash std1 which I have mounted on slash repo directory where we will be placing our local repository. So let's just traverse to the CD-ROM. And within the CD-ROM if you see we got a packages directory that is located here. And let's cd to this directory. Let's list the contents and this directory has got uh, the RPMs that are available in the CD. So um, let's take a WC hyphen L. It's 3722 packages which uh, are present at this point of time in this or 3722 files to be precise with. So it might contain uh, more or less packages because this, you know, this total this would be counted in a line as well. Okay, so now let's do one thing. Uh, let's copy the contents of this directory to slash repo folder. And now this is going to take some time. And uh, let's time elapse this so that this gets done. And that's perfect, it's been copied up right. Let's traverse to the slash repo directory and 3722. Perfect. So all the contents are in the CD-ROM and the in the packages directory have been copied to slash repo directory. Now the de the next thing that needs to be done is to run the create repo command on the local file system or anywhere where you wish to place your local repository. So in our case, this happens to be slash repo. So let's run a create repo and run it on slash repo. And if you see that it, it returns us with an error that create repo command isn't found. Now, uh, since yum is not installed at this point of time and we're in the process of configuring yum, so we need to install the create repo package manually. So at this point of time, we are in slash repo. Let's do ls hyphen l. And let's grab for this package. And this is present indeed. Let's try to install it. And this complains of a dependency Python hyphen Delta RPM package. Let's search for this as well. And this one is present as well. So let's try to install this. and this further complains of a dependency which is delta rpm so we need to search for this as well because rpm doesn't resolve the dependencies by itself which of course yum do and we have found this one so let's install it Turn ivh and this one is done without dependencies. Perfect. So we, we need to move sequentially. This one is installed. So uh, let's install the Python hyphen Delta RPM. This is done as well. And let's install hyphen IVH the create repo package as well. So if we do a rpm hyphen qa hyphen i and search for of course without the rpm extension it's going to display as this package so perfect so we have the create repo package available with us and let's create the repository running create repo and since slash repo is the directory where we have placed our repository files or, or all the RPM packages. So it's going to start working on this. And it found 3720 packages here, which of course differs by a number two of our previous count. So maybe two of the packages, they are, aren't considered in this, in this or might be because, you know, 
when you do a WC hyphen L on the output, you do a word count on the output of uh, the LS hyphen L. In that case, it may return you some extra files or say the total number of files that's been displayed. So this is going to be done momentarily. And let's time elapse this as well because it may take some time. And this has been done. And if you see the output, it says that spawning work is zero with 3720 packages and it created an SQLite database and saving other metadata. And uh, we have a repository created. Now, this, the next thing that needs to be done is to create a file in edc yum.repos.d. And if you see here, there are two files that are already present, but since we are interested in creating a local repository, so we need to create a different or uh, a separate repo file for that. So uh, say vi, and we can make it local.repo, but just mind it that any repository file that is created has to end with an extension .repo. So, and let's populate this content. We can do a local host that is the name of the repository and uh, it's followed by uh, some name that we need to give and we call it local repository. And for that matter, you can give anything that you want. Now, the base URL. Now, uh, usually you will find that in certain servers, the YUM repository is accessed via HTTP or might be FTP. But since we are making a local repository here, so we have to specify here file, colon, slash, slash, and then slash repo. For the time being, let's set GPG check to zero and enabled equal to one. So this will set you rolling. Let's save the contents. Let's cut the contents of local.repo again. And this looks good. So let's do a yum list all. And if you see that these packages in yum list all are coming via localhost, if you remember, we, we named the repository, we tagged it with localhost name. And the rest of these packages were installed during the installation time when the installation was done. And probably this was the name of the repository that was probably the CD that I used to in install the server. So uh, this is done. And uh, let's try to install a package. Yum install. And let's see what, what it says. And perfect. Let's echo the exasteris. And this has been done right. Now, um, let's run a yum repo list to see which all repositories are present. And you see that we have currently one repository present with the name localhost. And it's a local repository with uh, 3720 packages available. And uh, I believe this has been informative for you. And this is how you actually go about creating a YUM server with a local repository. I'll request you all to subscribe to my channel in case you haven't done till now, because I keep on posting some interesting Linux videos and on other technologies as well. Probably in the meantime, in, in, in some time, I'll be doing that. So thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day.